okay hello guys so this is the redmi note 11 pro 5g and it's also called the uh, poco x4 pro 5g and it's also called the redmi note 11a pro okay <laughs> it has the three names and the code name is Fox. so in this video i will show you how to root this phone using the most easiest way using a patch boot method okay <clears throat> you can apply them to the third model okay just for your information this phone also have a custom recovery but we cannot use it for fast images it only can be used for fast custom ROM okay all the file and instruction I will provide in my blog and I will put the link in the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with Om Bob. this time we have a quite new Xiaomi Pon and today we have the redmi note 11 pro 5g okay it's have a long name <laughs> i still don't remember it <laughs> and it is also called the poco x4 pro 5g or the redmi note 11a pro okay it has three names <laughs> With the code name is Felix, and in this video I will show you how to root this phone uh, using uh, easy patch boot mode. Okay, that is the uh, most easy ways to root the phone. Okay, <clears throat> usually we are using the patch boot because we don't have a custom recovery for the phone. Okay, or in this case for this phone we have a custom recovery but it is not working for routing okay it is just for installing the custom rom okay maybe in, for the next video i'll show you how to customize spawn using a custom rom okay so let's get started as usual <clears throat> first thing i want to show is the stock rom let's go to the settings right here about pawn and you can see right here we're using the mute 13.0.3 on Android 11 okay you can also use the Android 12 uh, I will not recommend Android 12 for reading because some the some of the apps that require root access have we have a compatibility problem with the Android 12 such as Mali and other stuff so like usual make sure you have unlock with the repon enable the mu version five times add the mu account right here go to the additional settings therefore for options and and bound your account and wait for seven days okay so i have wait seven days and i already unlocked pon I will not cover how to unlock the pawn because it's very easy you can find on my other video or uh, other youtube channel so, so basically first step unlock boot order okay and the second step you must know your stock rom <clears throat> okay and then you need to download the, the sec version because we we need to extract the boot image okay i'll show you uh it's good screen okay so you need the stock rom just open your browser and go to the show me firmware show me uh where is it firmware like this show me firmware.com scroll to the bottom and select rom select latest or archive okay and type your phone name or the code name okay this is the Felix. hit download 
and you can see a bunch of portion right here you can select the one that fits on your pawn or you can simply flash the latest one if you want to from the facebook Okay, so we're using the Indonesian version uh, and I'm using the Android 13, Android 11, uh, sorry, Mu 13.0.3 on Android 11. So this is my firmware. Let's hit download. And usually there is two type. Okay, the zip and uh, the gazette. Our gazette. Okay, so you must select this one and it will start download like this. Okay, I will stop this one because I already downloaded it. Let's minimize this one and <clears throat> you can see right here I already have stock Chrome. I already extract and make it 7 zip. Okay, you will see something like this. Let's open it. Okay. You can uh, see lots of file like this. Go to the image folder and find your boot image. Okay. Then <clears throat> you need to extract the boot image. Okay, I already extracted here. And we're going when we are going to copy this uh file into the pawn again the second one we need the magis apk you can always use uh, other magis version if you want it but i'm going to use the stable version so we're going to copy the two file and let's plug the usb cable Hey, <clears throat> copy this one and let's put it in the download folder and let's copy the magis apk also so we have two files and now let's navigate select this uh, menu <clears throat> and goes to the folder where you copy the two files okay now let's install the magis apk and usually it will ask permission just give it settings allow unknown source check the check, check this box right here and hit okay okay go back and hit install <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> now let's open it and you will see something like this so you already installed the apk but the images itself have not been installed okay so go to the install menu right here this one hit select and patch file okay select and patch the file Okay, let's go back again, install, and find where you have your boot image. Okay, we have put it in here, and this is our file. Okay, and hit, let's go, and it will start patching the boot image. Okay, when it's done, the file will be available in the download folder. Okay, all it's done. Now let's <clears throat> plug the USB cable again. And let's switch the screen again. <clears throat> Navigate to internal storage. And here we go. This is our original boot image. This is the patch one. Okay, let's copy and paste it. Okay, let's put it in here. Done. And now let's turn off the phone. Okay. Uh, 
turn off the pawn and we're going to boot into the fast boot mode okay as usual fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the flow down and the power button at the same time okay and just press three second three second three second again we go let's plug the USB cable again now let's open the <clears throat> cmd we're going to flash the boot image okay so this is the step i will provide uh, the link for you the step and all the file that needed if you need to okay we just need to run this command fast boot space fast space boot and just click and drag your pets boot image okay it will it will flash into the a partition okay so that <clears throat> you need to reboot into the system now we are in the home screen again now let's open the images usually for the first time it will ask for update okay uh, you can always use the another version may just have an alpha delta and other stuff okay it seems that we don't need to <laughs> the magis then doesn't ask for update okay so here we go now we have a uh, working magis right here so after this you can play with mages okay you can activate the judges you can configure denialist right here and other stuff and i also have installed the root checker and root explorer for testing okay let's open it root checker hit check and granted your blah 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 is rooted on root 11 Okay, now let's open the root explorer. Granted, now we have a working mages. Okay, so that's all, guys. This is the tutorial. The most easy way is to root your Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G or the other name Poco X4 Pro 5G or Redmi Note 11A Pro with the codename is Feox. Okay. I hope it helps you and I hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and I also have lots of video about routing custom ROM and lots of fun okay, especially Xiaomi Samsung Realme Asus and other stuff okay uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.